Hey you guys, this is Jack with Kapwing. One of the tools that I use most for making videos is being able to record both my screen and my face at the same time. Being able to record both your camera and your screen at the same time is incredibly useful for tons of different videos, including tutorials, which I do all the time, as well as things like reaction videos, as well as gaming, and lots of other use cases. And luckily, Kapwing just added this feature to its online video editor so that you can record your screen and your face at the same time, and then it'll automatically drop it right into the editor so you can can edit your video straight away from there. It's super convenient and today I'm going to show you guys how to use this feature. Let's get into it. Okay, hi guys. So the first thing you're going to do is click the first link in the description and it'll take you to kapwing.com and then you'll just want to sign in. It's completely free and it'll just make it so that when you finish your video, you won't download with a Kapwing watermark. So then you'll be taken to your workspace and you'll just click new content. And then what you're going to want to do is just go over to the left side panel over here and find the record tab. It's near the bottom and click that. Now we have a bunch of different options. So if you want to just record a singular thing like audio, camera, or screen, you can do that. Um, however, I'm going to be showing you today how to record using the screen and camera option. Um, and as you can see, you are able to use microphone or not if you want. So all you're going to do is just click the top one there, and then it'll show you a little picture of sort of how this will look when you're done recording. And then you're able to include your microphone or not by clicking these little boxes and then change which microphone you want to pick up your audio by clicking the little drop down arrow here. And you're able to do the same thing with your camera in case you have another webcam or something like that. And then when you're ready, you'll just click start screen recording right here. And then it'll prompt you with a few other options. So if you want to click the entire screen, you can click this one here and then click share. Then you can also click just other windows. So you could click um, just a window for another application that you want, like Spotify or another Chrome window or something like that. Or you're able to just click on one specific Chrome tab. So you'll just click the Chrome tab button right here and then select the Chrome tab that you want. So I could click um, a Kapwing tab or I could click um, a YouTube video or something like that, and then just click the share button. I tend to go with the entire screen version because if you do decide to do something like right click and you want the like information box to come up, or if you're dragging files or something that will show up in the entire screen version, but it won't show up in the window or Chrome tab um, options because it's not actually in the Chrome tab, it's your mouse doing something else. I tend to think that entire screen is the way to go, but you're able to obviously decide whatever you want. So then just go ahead and click the share button and then you will see that we are recording and then it should at the bottom of your screen um, show you that your screen share is going. So now that this is going, I can just minimize this if I want um, and then share all the different things on my screens. I should note though that this little box down here that says that you're sharing will show up on screen because you are recording the entire screen. So if you wanna get rid of it, just click the hide button and you'll be able to retrieve it later just by clicking um, where it went in the dock. Alternatively, you can also resize your screen later and just sort of cut that out. And then you can just go back to the Kapwing editor. And then when you're done, you can just go ahead and click either the stop recording button on the side here, or you can click the stop sharing button on the bottom. And once you do that, you should see that you have like your webcam video on top and then behind it should be the screen that you recorded. So now what I tend to like to do is I will click on the top layer of my face and then I will click the lock ratio button and then I will just drag this down pretty small and place me in the little corner here so that I am able to be seen but I'm not distracting from the main screen. If you'd like, you also can click the crop button um, when highlighting this and then change it to like a one of one ratio, a little square or something like that and click done cropping and now you have your face in a nice little square in the corner. <laughs> then you are able to resize the screen if you'd like as well. So if you don't actually want to show the entire screen, um, then you can just drag the little corners and I can get rid of the things like the dock. And so now it's dropped in the editor and of course you can do whatever you want. So that of course includes making splits um, and then you can delete and re-edit things in this editor however you would like. Splitting can be incredibly helpful for doing things like cutting out dead space. So you can see that I don't have any audio in between here. Um, so I can just click the split button before and then move my seeker to after and then click the split button again and then just get rid of this portion. So then you are able to edit and speed up your screen recording if you are sharing like a presentation or if you did say something wrong in a tutorial video or a reaction or something like that. You can add music on the left here, of course. 
You can add text, of course, on the left side as well. And then, yeah, you're just able to edit in the Kapwing editor, just how you usually would. But now you're able to record your face and your screen at the same time, which is incredibly helpful, incredibly convenient. All right, you guys, I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators. Also check out our Discord so you can keep up with other Kapwingers and the Kapwing staff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.